Jersey at Joint Base McGuire Dix Lakehurst. This base houses Army, Air Force, Navy, and Marines. As a veteran of the United States Air Force, I know cooking and making your own meals on base can be a little bit of a challenge, so I'm here to help. Hi! I am Master Sergeant Michelle Humphrey, one of the first sergeants here at the installation. So I have four service members here excited to meet you. Airman First Class Cespedes, Airman First Class O'Neill, ET2 Shiles, and Corporal Brown. Well, we need some groceries. I know there's a commissary on every base since we're all from different areas, but we all love to eat. <laughs> With the 48 bucks that we have to spend, we can do like a really cool bowl that you would love. We could bowl it up. We're gonna start with some base ingredients that are always the base of a really good bowl. We need the rice for the rice bowl, and then we're going to personalize them for what you like to eat. Do you know if you pick the freshest avocado? If it's soft? You take the nub and you flip it off. First, if it comes off easy, good. And if it's green beneath there, really good. Always have a list when you're grocery shopping. Really helps you save money. We say it a lot, but look, I'm living it. You got chipotle and roasted garlic. Yeah. That one's super good. That. I use that all the you time. You do? Done. Oh, like... Let's hope we did this under 48 bucks, y'all. To the register. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing good, y'all. We... It's the moment of truth. Did we keep four people's meals under 48 bucks? <laughs> 47 21! <laughs> this is awesome! Yeah! <laughs> hey, girlfriend, you too! <laughs> Let's do this! Let's cook! O'Neill, I've got you on your andouille sausage. My man Brown, that rotisserie chicken is all you, brother. Cespedes, cilantro, just go ahead and chop that down. Child, I've got you on the veggies hardcore. I'll be sauteing and asking for you guys to bring me ingredients. Let me get that meat. Let's go. How's it going over here, troops? Straight back! Jump harder! Yes, ma'am. Straight harder! Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Is that what the Navy taught you to do? Yes, ma'am. She's tough. <laughs> Leave like a handful of these to where we just pull the leaves off and put them over the top of something. Chop the rest of it down. That's looking perfect. Okay. So when people are asking sometimes like how to chop things down, I say like think about getting it onto your fork. When you put that on a fork, you're only gonna get a sausage. Do you want some rice with that? Do you want some toppings with that? So then it's like chop it down smaller and then you can get more on I your get, fork. Get more. Yep. So what I love to do is I like to take the spices, add them to the oil and allow the spices to toast and bloom. Much more flavor in a smaller amount of time. That looks good. I would tear this up right here, no delay. We did it, guys. We did it. The food turned out beautiful. I surprised myself. So we've got the salmon rice plate bowl. We've got the chicken southwestern rice plate bowl. Beef and the chicken. I'm going to the gym to bulk up rice plate bowl. And then my man down here on the bayou hanging out with his gumbo jambalaya plate bowl. That's what the military is. The military is like, you're from here, you're from here, you're from there, you're from there. We're all crunched together. And I was able to give each of them a little piece of home on a plate, which I'm goosebumpy about. Oh man, this is good.